for me, one thing that really was very important was that it feel very authentic, that you really believe that these, these, this woman, Rio, had just got off, gotten off the boat. So it was very important for me to find an actress whose first language was Japanese. She had seen Mr. Train, and my character was completely different then. So she, she was kind of like um, uncomfortable, and uh, she couldn't imagine that I was acting different way. She's such a goofy actress in that film. I loved her in that film, but it's not it's not the kind of image that I had of uh, Rio. But we sent the script to her. And at 3 o'clock in the morning one night, I got this call, and uh, it was Yuki. And she had just read the script, and she was really excited, you know, and she just was just trying to um, convince me that uh, she was going to, she was, she was, this is about her, you know, her life. You know, and she, you know, she was so adorable on the phone. I explained to her how I feel about the character, and she was asking me over the phone, oh, there would be some kind of like a singing stuff, get involved, do you sing, that type of thing. She was doing all kinds of like impersonation for me, just to show, you know, she did it. She showed me like, I'm very good at French accent, so she started like, talking in French, and then she began singing. I was singing in French, I was singing in Japanese folk music. Oh, well, this is really about my life, you know, because I am, I am weak, I am strong, I am, um, I, I can be spoiled, I can be, I'm, you know, I can be a brat, and at the same time, I can be very serious, and this and that, and it was, he kind of went on and on, and it was just totally endearing, and, you know, by the end of the phone call, I just was completely in love with her. I just thought, you know, I just, her spirit came through. She was so desperate to make this film happen. And um, I can feel how much she cares for this film and how much love she has towards this film. Um, so it made me feel like this is the person I, wanna, I wanted to work with. I really want to work with her. I didn't know what to expect, but when I saw her coming towards us uh, wearing, I think she was wearing like high platform shoes. She had like, she was completely um, dressed like a fashion model. She saw me with the big white hat and you know, white, you know, suit on me. She had like a lot of luggage. She had two managers with her. She thought, oh my God, why did I hire Yuki? She doesn't look like the person who are working in the cane field. She said, oh, I'm allergic to the sun and mosquitoes. I can't, you know, I'm, I'm allergic to mosquito bites. So she was completely, uh, she freaked us out. You know, she was beautiful, but I just thought, wow, I mean, I, I don't know how we're going to, uh, how she's going to survive. So in a way, it was perfect. It was a perfect kind of uh, arrival because it kind of, it was a parallel to the film where she arrives as a city girl, completely delicate, and, you know, she has this expectation that uh, life is just going to be really dandy. We took her to the cane fields, and I think she was really shocked. And we are driving almost every day, one hour and a half, to the cane field. It's far. It's far from where I stay. Um, so first day of my work on the set, I thought, where are they going to take me? And we're going so far away from civilization. I didn't know that such a big cane field still exists at that time. Wow, I thought this is the place where I have arrived as a Rio. How did she feel? How did she smell this, you know, air? Oh, I still remember and I get goosebumps all over me now. I I remember that the, the feeling as I remember yesterday. So yeah, it was perfect in a way, her arrival, because as you see the film, you see her progression. I mean, she was kind of a very pampered actress. In Japan, they really pamper you. And she had to really survive. It was really her first time away from home, from her parents even. So she was incredibly homesick, and she had a really difficult time on the set. And by the end of the film, a lot of people always talk about how she really looked like she had been on the plantation for a long time, and she'd been really working in the cane fields. And I mean, I would have loved to take credit for that, but we actually just worked her really hard. And by the end of the 
film. She was really, uh, she lost a lot of weight and she was really much, she was stronger, you know. She became lean and mean.